It's me, your girl, your sister, Okunja Joy Osarieme. Thank you all my followers, my subscribers. I thank you, may God Almighty bless you all for your support upon my channel. If today is your first time you are just seeing my channel, please, as you watch, you love what I'm doing, subscribe to me and press that notification bell. Anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you. Please support me. Don't leave me. As you do so, God will bless you in Jesus' name. My lovely people, today's topic is don't because of don't because of woman to leave your home. If you are in marriage that you are not receiving domestic violence, the man is not beating you. The man is caring, is, is a caring man. He's always there for you. Please, my sister, no matter what happened in your home, no matter the, 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 the problem, no matter the temptation, don't leave. Don't leave your home. Because when you come to your husband, you did not see any man, any woman in his hand, and you are the first wife. Don't because of what happened to leave your marriage. Instead of you to leave your marriage, always commit everything into the hands of God. Since the man is not beating you, domestic violence is not good at all. But if the man is not beating you, please don't leave. So enter prayer and pray to God to solve your problem. There is no marriage that is perfect. There is no marriage that is not temptation. Many marriage, every different men and women, everybody have their own character. Because the man comes from another background, the woman comes from another background. You as a woman, you cannot expect to, for your husband to be doing the way you do. And you as a man, you cannot expect for your wife to be, to be, to be uh, doing the way you do. Everybody has your own character. But when both of you be together, you will be studying each other. The woman will know what is not right, what a husband will do, what a husband will do that is not like. He will avoid it and the man will still do the same so that peace can reign in house, in home, in that marriage. You will see, I know many women, they leave their marriage because of maybe the man went ahead and bring another woman into that marriage. No woman that will take it. The woman will be so hot because when he married that man, the man did not have anything. Both of them start life. At the end, they have what they the, the man become a great person, become that person that people always look on. The man will, come, will remember that he wants to go and marry another woman. It will be painful. But I want to assure you, you will see the, the, uh, what is happening now. Many guests, they don't want to marry boy like them. They don't want to marry young boy. Many of them, they like to destroy that home. He want to destroy that marriage. If you leave your marriage for him, he will be so happy. He will say, yes, I said I will come to this marriage and scatter everything. But I want you to always look upon God. Always pray to God. Always cry to God. Tell God your problem. One day, the way that woman come into your husband's life, he will still go. When you continue to pray, when you continue to look upon God, when you continue to pour all your heart desire upon God, when you continue to hold your God strong, Tell God what you want because we are special in the sight of God. We women, we are so special in the sight of God. God loves us so much. God loves us. That is why when we cry to him with the bottle of our heart and we know that God, you are the only one we trust and you are the only one we depend on. When we cry to him, he always answer. So far you know that is that God you put your trust on. Because don't go to another place. Our God is a jealous God. If you are serving God, focus on God. If you have another thing you are serving, focus on that thing. Don't serve God and go to the other side. When you are praying, when you are in, in any situation, God will not answer. But when you focus your mind and you say, God, you are the only one I put my trust, God will fight your battle. God will fight for you.
That woman that said they want to come to that home to come and destroy your marriage. That woman that don't remember, that don't know when you and your husband started. That woman that see that yes, your husband now is a, he, 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 everybody is looking onto him. He want to come to come and reap where he did not sow. But God Almighty, as you cry to Him, that that God will, will fight for you. The man will just wake up one day and tell the woman, "I don't need you." Or the woman will just wake up one day and tell the man, I don't need you. Both of them will separate. You will still stay in your home. Because you are the pillar of your marriage. As a woman, you did not come to come and snatch another person's husband. You are a pillar in your home. Devil sent for the pit of air. Don't because of them to quit out of your marriage when you have children. If you said you cannot take this, you went to another place. You don't know. Maybe that place will not be good. You will be regretted. That is why they said, I die know it's not good. And if woman leave first marriage without maltreating, the man is not maltreating you. The man don't beat you. The man love you. But because of the man married another woman, you want to leave. My sister, it will affect you in the future because you don't know that place you are going. You don't know how that place look, look like. When you enter at the end, you will be regretting. Stay in your home and tell that woman that come, that, want, that come to your marriage, that want to destroy your home, tell him that he cannot succeed. Let him know that, yes, you serve a living God. You are not serving a dead God. Let him know that nothing, is, nothing that God cannot do. Let him know that what God cannot do does not exist. Focus on your God. Leave the man, even though the man is, the love is shocking the man, the man is just happy, I married another woman, just leave him. Focus with God. Always pray. At the end, you will see victory. At the end, God will fight for you. He will fight all your battle. You will be the one that will be anybody that is still passing, passing uh, through uh, uh, that kind of stress, you will be the one that will be encouraging them, telling them, see what I passed through. But I did not pray that one for you, for another woman to come to your home, to come and scatter your marriage in Jesus' name. But in case, if it happens, don't leave your home. Stay in your home. Stay in your marriage. Don't suffer, don't labor for another man to reap. Don't walk in your marriage. and the end, everything is okay. Another woman come. He wants to come and reap what he did not so. You, you quit. You said, enter. That time you are giving that woman chance to say, come and, come and reap what I sow. That will not be your portion of hell. That the enemy sent to come and destroy home. We not see your home. We not see my home in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty will secure your home. God Almighty will secure your marriage. God Almighty will bring peace into your house in the mighty name of Jesus. God will continue to direct your husband. Your husband will not go to go and meet every any evil woman that will come and scatter your home in the mighty name of Jesus. Your husband will continue to love you. Your husband will continue to cherish you. Any man, any woman, any girl, any boy that said, as they see that you and your man, your husband, you are playing together, that, that your marriage is okay. They want to come and enter. They want to manipulate your husband towards you so that both of you can separate. I ask for the thunder of God to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I turn their eyes blind in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask for God to give their ultimate. Whosoever that tear ultimate will never see and to scratch itself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover your marriage with blood of Jesus. I cover your life with blood of Jesus. May God give you that strength to always pray, to always wait upon him. May God give you that strength never to leave your home for another strange woman in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, patience of this. I worship you, Lord, I adore your name, for in Jesus' precious name, I have prayed. Amen. Thank you, all my followers, my subscribers. I thank you. You people are so, so amazing. Please, if you watch this video, share it. This video can help others. Maybe some, there are some people that is taking, mm, I want to quick, quick out of my marriage. When you send this video to them, it will help them. As you do so, God will bless you. I love you, but Jesus Christ loves you most. Bye-bye. Ciao.